Hello, this is Sage. You're watching Kalkine TV live from Sydney. This is a Stocks in Action show. In today's Stocks in Action show, we'll take a look at the latest updates from the financial firm Finios, Enterprise Software as a Service Company Technology One, and the multinational software company Altium. We'll also cover the MOQ, a software company and European-based biopharma company MGC Pharma. Lastly, we will take a quick glance at developments across the ASX 200, so please stay with me till the end. And firstly, the shares of financial firm Finios were up on Friday after the company announced on Friday that it has managed to complete a fully underwritten institutional placement and has raised 70 million Australian dollars. The company had to issue around 16.3 million fully paid chess depository interests over its ordinary shares. The placement was done at an offer price of $4.30 Australian per new CDI and represents a 5.1% discount to Finios closing price on 2nd September 2021 of $4.53 Australian per CDI. The placement got a robust support from both current and new security holders and therefore the company has upsized the placement by $10 million Australian dollars to $70 million Australian dollars. The new CDIs are expected to settle on 7th September 2021 and will be allotted on the 8th of September 2021. Now, meanwhile, Finios also had announced on the 2nd September that it will be undertaking a non-underwritten security purchase plan to raise up to five million Australian dollars. And the next big news that covers, co covers Technology One, an enterprise software as a service company. And Technology One shares were trading up on Friday as the company shared on Friday that it has settled an agreement to acquire Scientia Resource Management Limited, a higher education software provider company in the UK. The probable consideration will be 12 million Great Britain pounds, including an initial payment of 6 million Great Britain pounds. The further payments will be based on achieving progressive earnouts out to financial year 2023. The total consideration will be in the form of cash payments funded from internal sources. And as a result, the acquisition is earnings neutral for financial year 2021. Technology One shared it believes that this acquisition is a part of its strategic focus to deliver the best for higher education. It would also accelerate the company's growth and competitive position in the UK and significantly benefit the Australian higher education market. And next up is news from Altium, a multinational software company. Shares of Altium were trading up on Friday post the company released its audited annual report for 30th June 2021. Altium is into the business of computer software and the company achieved the full year revenue of 191.1 million US dollars including a 6% growth in continuing revenue. In the second half, a revenue increased 16%. A bit does stood at 60 million US dollars for the continuing business at a 33% margin. Altium achieved an underlying EBITDA margin of 36.1% after major investments in product development and cloud infrastructure. Now, during the financial year 2021, some investment and divestment in business have taken place and the Octopart business added a new enterprise customers, including big names like SpaceX, Tesla, Amazon and Arduino. Altium sold its tasking business at 110 million US dollars for expansion of Altium's 365 platform. And during the second half of fiscal 2021, it also invested 3 million US dollars in MacroFab, a cloud platform for electronics manufacturing. And now it's time for a short break, but please stay tuned. I'll be back with more of the trending updates for the Australian market. Hi there, James Preston for Kalkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Kalkine's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Kalkine TV.
Welcome back, Sage here, your host live from Kalkine Studio, and you're watching the Stocks in Action show. Now, the next news covers MOQ, which is a software company. Shares of MOQ were trading flat on Friday as the company announced that it has entered into a conditional binding agreement for the sale of 100% of the shares in its fully owned subsidiary, Limage Technical Services, which trades as Schoolbag. And Schoolbag is a market leading software as a service provider. It provides the services via web and mobile apps to over 2,500 educational institutions, childcare centres, and sports clubs, and used by more than 1 million end users. MOQ had acquired Schoolbag in 2016 and now selling it to Skilligence for a price of four million Australian dollars cash. The deal is expected to close on or before 30th September this year. The cash proceeds from the school bag transaction will increase MOQ's cash position, which is a significant enabler of the company's future growth strategy. And the last news to be discussed in this session covers MGC Farmers. Shares of the European-based biopharma company MGC Farmers are trading up on Friday after the company shared it has received a permit to send Symmetra to India. The approval has been granted by the Indian Central Drug Standard Control Organization and as a result Symmetra would become a significant component used in the final product testing to complete its application for emergency use authorization to treat the patients with COVID-19 in India. An MGC Pharma has shared that the emergency use authorization will allow them to market and sell Symmetra as an approved medicine for the treatment of COVID-19 in India and potentially in other parts of the world under the International Mutual Recognition Protocols for Medicines. Medifarm would act as the importer for Symmetra in India after the approval from the emergency use authorization. And one of India's biopharma manufacturers and exporters, Medifarm, has managed the emergency use authorization process for Symmetra in India on behalf of MGC Pharma. Before wrapping up, let us quickly glimpse through developments across equity and commodity markets now. And let's begin with the first, starting with the ASX 200's performance. The S&P ASX 200 is up today, gaining 0.44%. Oracoba is up 4.70%. While Whitehaven Coal was up 4.14%. And seven of the 11 sectors are higher, along with the S&P ASX 200 index. Materials is the worst performing sector, while information technology is the worst performing sector in the morning. Now, lastly, I have the latest updates to share. Credit ratings agency S&P Global upgraded its 2021 global economic growth forecast to 5.9% on evidence of rising vaccination rates, setting an optimistic tone for the third and fourth quarters as Australia seeks to avert a double dip recession. And hopefully that's been informative for you, but that is all for now. And stay tuned with Calkine TV for more live market updates. We'll be back with more news on the markets, the economy, diverse themes and sectors. Sage signing off.